Welcome back to another Caswell's video, guys. This is going to be the updated version of the Zebco Slingshot fishing rod that's only $10 at Walmart. Before I tell you guys my thoughts about the Zebco Slingshot, I thought I would let you guys know that I have an Instagram page called Caswell's and it's not about me. It's strictly all about you guys, all about fishing and all about fishing tips. So the page is pretty much you send me your fishing photo. I ask you what you use to catch it. You can get featured on the page. I post you, I tag you, and you guys can see fishermen from all around the world, what they're using to catch their fish and what's the best baits and lures for those fish. So I thought I'd let you guys know that something like that is available on the internet. It's The Instagram is called Caswell's, and if you guys want to check it out, show some love and support, give it a follow, and let's get back into the video. So I'm going to overview some other things I did in the past video and then also give a couple other things why I like it, why I don't like it. So to start off with, this rod right here is around five, five, six maybe. Somewhere around there, it's not over six feet. It is only $10 at your local Walmart. And it is an amazing rod. I, I can't say really anything bad about it for the quality that you are paying for a rod only 10 bucks you're getting a full entire setup with line that's on there i believe that it is eight pound line that this thing comes with if you want to know the gear ratio on this thing it is 5.3 to 1 gear ratio so that is pretty much the rod this is it here it is right here the one thing that I would say is almost a negative part about it is it is bendy very bendy like this and the reason I'm saying that is a negative part is because when you get very big fish and this is the reason why I've made this my secondary rod now I wanted to use it as my primary because it was so fun reeling fish in and seeing your rod bend like crazy like this but i was noticing i was losing a lot of fish and lately i've been doing a lot of fishing i have been hooking into very big fish and i think i hooked into my personal best bass on this exact rod i got them all the way close to the boat and this rod was literally like a u-shape like this and every time the fish would bend the rod like this it puts a lot of tension in your line and then if it kind of dart the fish darts one way it this line will since it's so bendy like this you see what happens right there it yanks that hook out of the mouth and that's why i feel like in a lot of my past videos i've been losing fish when i've been using this this rod right here but luckily i did get a new rod if you guys want to see the rod that I did get, it is a JB3 rod. I have another. My most recent videos will be with the JB3 rod. But nonetheless, this is an amazing rod for any beginner, any person that just want, is not very serious into fishing. I would 100% recommend this rod. 10 bucks, like this thing is amazing. You can put it in the back of your car, on the side, anybody that wants to go fishing with you needs a rod this thing will get the job done. If you do hook big fish though, you may or may not actually land those fish due to the bendiness in the rod. But I still have caught very big fish with this rod. I noticed that in my salmon video, I, I hooked three fish and that video was pretty much me buying this as a joke and to see if this rod could actually hold up a salmon and it it holds up a bunch of big fish don't get me wrong it's it's not going to break on you or anything like that but now looking back at the videos of me fishing with this rod that was the one reason i kept losing all these bigger fish that make the made the rod bend so i know i'm doing this so many times but I, it just got me frustrated and i hope you guys watching this video using this rod that that can happen to you if you catch a big fish so if you're a little more serious about fishing that's why i do actually recommend you 
getting a more serious rod, a more stiffer rod if you're going for bigger fish. So it helps you in the future to actually land those fish and not lose them and make the same mistakes that I did. So overview, this rod is amazing. If you guys have kids or anything like that, this is 100% the rod I would recommend if you don't want to spend a lot of money. And that's pretty much the updated version. If you guys want to see the previous version, I say some similar stuff as well, but that is the only one reason I would not recommend getting the rod is if you are a more serious fisherman, I would definitely put this as your secondary rod if you cannot afford two rods, because I know rods are very expensive, but overall secondary rod if you guys want to use pan fishing bluegills all that littler stuff highly recommend this one so thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you guys learned something today and we'll catch you guys on the next episode of catch with thank you guys for watching